and the finance committee were formed some years ago, and um, three of us were on the floor then. There was never any policy, there was never any procedure, there was never any guidance document developed for either the personnel committee or the finance committee. So I think it is unprofessional for this board, if not unethical, for the board to develop, for the personnel committee to develop a criteria when they don't have a criteria or even how they're supposed to function. So it's, it's so, I mean, I'm trying to figure from an administrative standpoint, how does the personnel committee sit down and draw up a document that says this is how, a guidance document on how we're going to evaluate the county administrator when there's been no guidance document developed for the personnel committee to what authorities they have or, or anything that they're supposed to, how they're supposed to function. And, and the same thing with the finance committee, and that's why as finance chair, I made the recommendation that the finance committee be done away with and the board simply meet. We have a six person board for three of us to meet to develop something to come back to show the other three, it, to me is a big waste of time. So I would ask that the, the board, as the contract does require, Mr. Uh, Harris's contract requires, the board and him to sit down and develop to develop that criteria. That's what the contract says. Well, I, I don't have the contract before me right now. I'm not sure it says that. Um, I just told you so. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not positive it says that. And if, if, and, if it does say that, that the board and the county administrator will develop its own criteria, that obviously tell me that the board itself, which has the responsibility to evaluate its employees and administrator, will develop the criteria with the county administrator input and review. Obviously, the county administrator does not set the criteria to evaluate himself. That's the personnel function. Okay? So, that is something that we as a board need to do. But, but State of Virginia does it that way. Any corporation. Oh, good point. <laughs> that what happens is, even within a public school, there is a criteria set established to evaluate employees. Okay? And the same thing with all the we need an instrument to this day, to this day, and I don't know why, there's no instrument to evaluate the county administrator, no formal instrument to evaluate the county administrator. And, and both the debt and the county administrator contract, it states that we will evaluate those individuals. How, if you don't have that, how they know they're doing an effective job? But you didn't have one planned before then. No, it's in the contract. Okay. So otherwise, you, you go from sure day to day, you go from day to day without any instrument at all to evaluate the county administrator. You need that. So the chair, I will ask. Mr. Chairman, you just said you didn't know it was in the contract. Now, which way is it? No. The comment was that it, he said it's the, the board and the, the county administrator will sit down to do the evaluation to, and develop the instrument. I'm saying that the, the board, the personnel committee, the person that needs to sit down to develop an instrument or a criteria how you're going to evaluate the county administrator. Normally, normally, those criteria will be attached to a specific goal and objective that the board has established. They do evaluate the person on implement the criteria to pass out. But we, as a board, really have not per se, establish a lot of those objectives. So what we have to do is to come up with some instrument that we can use to evaluate the county manager this year. Now, next year, that instrument could be modified, but we have to do it. And I will ask that this be referred to the personnel committee to begin to develop that. And we're not going to screw the county administrator uh, uh, upon doing that. Once we develop that, we can bring it to the county ministry and have it input and bring it to the full board. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I, I guess I have a, another concern that's come out of the discussion now. Let, let, me, let me go back. Let me go back. Yeah, first, I'm a little concerned that you put this on the agenda without reading the contract. Um, or, you know, so that, that's a little concerning. Well, most, most, most of us that put things on the agenda, we 